The name of this week's parasha, Kitisa, means when you elevate, although idiomatically it refers to taking the census. That's the way we talk about counting heads, elevating each person. But nevertheless, the notion of elevation is in contrast to the subject matter, the most dramatic high point or low point in the parasha, which is the building of the golden calf. The act of absolute rebellion, polytheism, idol worship, the direct contrast to the immediate event that had just taken place, the receiving of the Torah at Mount Sinai. And Moses comes down and he hears and sees what's taking place and he takes the Torah, the tab tablets in which it's all contained, and breaks them. In other words, breaks the contract which was going to be the marriage contract between the Jewish people and God and he breaks it so that the betrayal isn't as part of a marriage. It wouldn't be as severe. It wouldn't be a betrayal after marriage as such. Nevertheless, we have to ask ourselves, why is the name of the Sedra elevation when the, in fact the subject matter is descent? And the answer is the act of teshuva, the act of reconciliation. It was when Moses, the Shatchan, the interlocutor, who then pleads with Hashem, please forgive the Jewish people, and forgiveness takes place, and reconciliation takes place, the result is a higher state of relationship than even was the case before. Like when a piece of string breaks and you tie the two ends, the knot becomes the strong point of the string. Therefore, if you have any broken relationships in your family, in your friendship setting, tie the knots together and enjoy the teshuva, the act of reconciliation, and most especially between you and God.